Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to delete any type of file from your Mac. So if you guys want to delete any pictures or any documents, this is how you do it. So right here on my desktop, I have a few types of documents. So I have JPEGs, PDFs, a folder, a video, and a Word file, plus a zip file just to make things interesting. And we're going to delete them all. So there's a few ways. The first way that I'm going to show you is one of my favorites, which is just selecting it. So let's say I select this. And on my keyboard, I'm gonna press Command Delete. If I do that, it's gonna go straight to my garbage bin. Now, once that file goes to your garbage bin, you guys should actually empty your garbage bin. So that's gonna be down here below, your trash bin, and then just empty that out. So what I did was just right click right here and empty it out. Once I empty that out, we cannot recover that file. So here it will give you this warning every single time you guys do this. So it does tell you that you guys will not be able to get it back. Empty trash, and there you go. So that's a, how to permanently delete that file. Now, let's say you guys want to delete a few files, just you know, a PDF again, and maybe a JPEG, a picture of some type. Another way to do it is right click on these. So I can right click on these two and just move to trash. So I can always select this, move to trash. And there we go. Again, I do have to empty out my trash just by doing that. I'm going to show you how to empty it out another way. Now, if I have a folder, for example, in a video, so let's get rid of that folder first. So another way to get rid of this is to drag it. I can drag it right on top of my trash bin. So here's my trash bin. I'm going to drag it. Okay, so I dragged it and dropped it on top of my trash bin. I'm going to do the same thing with this video and drop on top of my trash bin. So I'm going to double click on my trash bin. Let's open it up. Now for most of you, it's going to be just one click. Maybe you guys have to double click. Regardless, here's my trash bin. I just opened it up. And on the right hand side, you guys will see empty. So just click on empty. And then empty again, because it's going to give you this prompt. And there you go. So you guys just emptied it out. So next time I go into my trash, and it looks empty. It should be empty once it opens up and there's nothing in there. Now, if you guys have this open, this is the very last option to delete files. So you guys could open your trash bin. So again, just click on it. This will open up and you guys can drag anything on top of here. That may be even easier for you guys. So here I have a word file, drop it right there. I have a zip file, drop it right there. And from here, yes, you guys still do have to empty this out. So just press on empty, that's right here. So that's the top right hand corner. You guys will see empty. We're gonna empty that out, empty again, and we're done. So that's how you delete files on Mac. Now just in case you guys having activated, you're right clicking. Now because you could hold yes, you guys can always hold control on your keyboard and just do a regular click. However, you guys should activate your left clicking. I mean, your right clicking if you haven't done so. So just go into system preferences. If you guys don't see system preferences down here, don't worry, go to your spotlight search, which is on the top right hand corner and type in system preferences. So we're gonna do that right now. So we're gonna click right there. We're gonna type in system preferences. So we're just gonna open it up, system preferences. Now this should come up. And you guys will see mouse and trackpad. Now, if you guys have a MacBook, for example, you guys will have this option here. It's secondary click. So that's the right click. And that's only tapping with two fingers. And that's it. Not actually clicking, but tapping on your trackpad. Okay. If you guys have an iMac, for example, if you guys have a mouse, you guys can do the same thing. It's called secondary click. So just click right there, activate this, just make sure it has a check mark, and you guys will have right click. All right, so again, that's right here. You guys have these two choices, mouse or trackpad. Most of you will most likely not have a trackpad if you guys have an iMac. Some people buy the trackpad, sure. Some people have a mouse if they have a MacBook, yes. A lot of graphic designers have a mouse anyways, and a lot of others never bother to buy a mouse. They just keep their trackpad. Regardless, that's how you guys activate that right-clicking. So right now you guys could right-click right here, right click everywhere to see what happens. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.